What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. Y'all, I am in my living room because I don't feel like going in my room. <laughs> I've been sitting in the same spot all day. Okay, phone closed. I cleaned. And I just, I don't feel like doing nothing else. <laughs> So we're going to do your readings right here, y'all. I'm recording off of my phone. I hope y'all can hear me well. But we're going to dive in and just see what messages come out for you, Scorpio. All right, what messages do you have for my Scorpios? What are the messages you need Scorpio to know? What messages do you have for my Scorpios? What messages do you have for my Scorpios? All right, we got one. Mm. What messages do you have for Scorpio? Two, let's get one more. What messages do you have for Scorpio? Great, beautiful. Bottom of the deck is adversity. I accept the challenges are the best way to learn. Bottom of the deck. Okay, put that back in there. We also have regret. I know that I cannot change the past. Doubt, I release the need to know all the answers. And health, I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Okay. So let's clarify this energy here and just see what comes out for you, Scorpio. Regret. What is it with this regret card for my Scorpios? What is the deal with this regret card for my Scorpios? Clarify the regret card for Scorpios. The magician. Okay. Clarify the regret card. The world. Okay. So Scorpio, let go of not being able to fix something in the past, okay, with that magician and the world card. If it was meant to end, it was meant to end. Two of Cups, bottom of the deck, okay? Try to see it from your higher consciousness, okay, that something did not work out with the magician and the world card. It didn't work out for a reason. Some of you are wanting communication from somebody, wanting somebody to speak their truth, wanting somebody to come towards you, but... Um, you can only control you. You cannot control anybody else or force anybody else to do anything, Scorpio. Eight of Pentacles. I feel like you wanted to work on something and it was very disappointing. You feel like there was a missed opportunity here with this Page of Swords and the Ace of Wands energy. Yeah, the Hangman. And you're looking at it. You're looking at Ace of Pentacles. You're looking at it. Most definitely Seven of Cups. You feel like that it might have just been an illusion. That you were only dreaming that this would ever work. That you were only dreaming that it was a dream come true. You know what I'm saying? Like it was something that you thought could happen, but it in reality, it couldn't. Like you're starting to look at it. You're also looking at it like, okay, well, maybe the passion could have been there, but would it have really been stable? You know, would it have really brought me the stability that I want? Would it really have uh, brought me the long longevity that I was looking for? Okay, whether this was a job, a person, a situation, connection, whatever, okay? But um, they're saying let go of that. Don't don't feel like there's any regret. You did all that you could, Scorpio. It's just um, you can manifest situations. You can manifest money, but you cannot manifest someone. We all have free will. You know what I'm saying? You cannot manifest someone to be with you. And if something doesn't come for you or towards you, it's, it's just not meant for you. Give me one more on the regret card. Give me one more on the regret card here for my Scorpios. Whoa. Yeah, nine of pentacles in reverse here. Some of you, this was like, maybe it was an opportunity, a job, Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Cups that you really wanted and it didn't come through in the Sun card. But just know that the reason why you didn't get it is because there's something better coming in here. Page of Cups, the Eight of Swords here. Also, if a relationship didn't work out or something like that, it it, it didn't... It didn't have enough groundedness to work. I guess that's the word I'm looking for. You may also feel like, why didn't somebody apologize to me? Or why didn't someone come tell me sorry for what they did? Because they can't. They're insecure with this Nine of Pentacles in reverse. They're insecure. Like, I'm getting this energy of, it's, it's weird that I'm getting this here. But with this Page of Cups and this Eight of Swords, they're stuck in their head about it. They may be blocked. They may feel like they don't owe you an apology. They could have did something wrong, but they just... They don't care. You know what I'm saying? There's a difference between when you care about somebody and when you don't here. And I feel like this person, they just did not care, you know. But for a lot of you, um, you feel like you missed the opportunity, like whether it was work, okay, or a, a new job or a new raise or a, a new position here. But you got to look at it like it, rejection is a blessing for redirection, okay. There's something better for you. That's all that means. Clarify the uh, doubt card here for my Scorpios. 
Put by the back card. We got the Queen of Swords here, okay? So you've become cold. Clarify the doubt card. It's on the bottom four cups. Clarify the doubt card for my Scorpios. The Queen of Wands in reverse here. Doubt, I release the need to know all the answers. Yeah, like with this Queen of Swords here and this Queen of Wands in reverse, I do feel like you lost a little confidence here with whatever this was because it was disappointing here with this Page of Swords energy here. I feel like you lost a little confidence about it. You, it's like you might have been so stuck on like, I know this is going to work out or I know that I'm going to get that, but it didn't. Seven of Swords energy, King of Pentacles energy. So, there could have been some shadiness, the judgment card that happened. That could have been the reason why it didn't happen for you, Six of Cups. Or somebody could have been sneaky, King of Wands energy. Somebody could have been uh, sneaky. You may not understand why somebody lied to you or why somebody was being deceptive towards you. It's not meant for you to understand. That's for that person to resolve. Because I feel like with the Seven of Swords, King of Pentacles, and the Judgment, you look at it as like somebody took your long-term stability away or somebody took your, your person away. Like if this was a person, you look at it like, I can't believe they took my person away or I can't believe that this stability is gone, this job position is gone. Like how, how could they get that? Maybe I wasn't strategic enough or maybe I didn't do this enough. You got to let that go because, again, whatever's meant for you is meant for you and what's not is not. Sometimes you're being protected from something that uh, might have looked good on the outside but, but was actually toxic on the inside. You know what I'm saying? Especially with the Six of Cups and uh, King of Wands energy. I see you reflecting here like you might have felt like somebody was your person. Because this is divine counterparts here. King of Wands, Queen of Wands energy. You could be wondering, like, why didn't they see me as their person? You know, why didn't they recognize me as their person? Or why didn't that company recognize me as the, the employee that I could have been? Just release the need to know why somebody else chose somebody else or why a company chose another person. It, it's not meant for you to know, you know. Let that ish go. It's okay. Let it go. Just look at it and say, you know what? It wasn't meant for me. There's something better. Give me one more on the doubt card. Yeah, two of wands and ten of swords. Exactly what I said. Somebody somebody chose another person or chose another path here. And it caused a lot of pain with this ten of swords energy here. It did. It caused a lot of pain. Two of, wow, you keep getting this two of cups energy, seven of cups. I'm telling you, somebody chose another option. There was another lover. Or if it was a job, there was another option. They went with another option than you. And you don't quite understand the moon energy. You don't quite what understand why they did that. It's not meant to. The high priestess. Stuff is being hidden for a reason. Eight of Cups. All you need to know is walk away. Walk away. Because whatever the situation was, it tainted your confidence. And we, we don't need your confidence tainted. We need your confidence back up to where it needs to be because you are a badass. You know what I'm saying? You are somebody important. You are dope and unique in your own little way. I don't even want to say own little way. You are dope and unique in your own way. And if somebody is tainting your confidence or anything like that, you don't need that person in your life anyway. Some of you, this is like a twin flame connection. Somebody could have chosen another person over you. Just know it happened for a reason. Divine intervention is happening, okay? And each person, each twin has to go through their, their cycle. Do we like the separation period? Heck no, but I mean, it happens for the ones of you that are on a twin flame journey. But for others of you, look with that two of cups, look at things from a higher consciousness. Again, uh, rejection is redirection for rejection is redirection and it's my protection you know what i'm saying so it, it's okay that something didn't work out it's okay that you had to choose a new path what else about the health card the hermit some of you need to uh get your wellness checkup i don't know why i got that knight of swords yeah go get your wellness checkup the hermit card and knight of swords okay also some of you need to seclude yourself from um moving all the time it's like you're busy like a busy body like you're not getting a lot of rest you're just a busy body you're always on the go you're always let me get this done let me get this done let me go get this done you need to rest and relax here scorpio clarify the health card knight of pentacles yeah and just slow down just a little bit slow down let me get to know you you know that song just slow down a little bit some of you you're stressing like <laughs> 
you're trying to um, rush and get something done that takes longer than it than um, than something that could just happen overnight. So, for example, like say you're building something, building your business or career or something like that. You try to rush to get it done and on the go, go, go. But this here is Knight of Pentacles is slow progress. Okay. So it's something that's going to be built over time. This Queen of Pentacles and Six of Pentacles, whatever you put out is what you're going to get back. Justice card. So you just need to know whatever you're putting into it, you will get back, Scorpio. But it's no need to rush the process here. The star card is at the top. So if you are feeling down or you feel sick or you feel ill, just know you will be healing. You'll be feeling better here. In the long run, the emperor card is here. Three of pentacles. Yeah, you're going to be feeling back into your back, back yourself. You're going to be feeling back in control here. Some of you, you may get like some help or some assistance here. It could be like, I'm getting therapy for some of you. Like you could be getting therapy. I don't know uh, what's going on, but some of you could be getting some type of therapy or somebody working with you to help you out. This could just be as simple as like a workout regimen or like a, a eating better, eat, eating healthier regimen. Like you're partnering up with somebody so that you can be doing better. Okay. Um, what are the messages the Scorpio need to know here? Let's get a few more. What do I want to pull? I don't even know what I want to pull, y'all. Do I have all my cards in here? I guess so. Which is Oracle. No, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Energy Oracle. Let's see. What other messages does Scorpio need to know? For this reading, what are the other messages that Scorpio needs to know for this reading? What other messages does Scorpio need to know for this reading? That goddess of the moon. This is your second time getting the moon energy. And financial constraints. Oh, Lord. And strategy. Okay, so some of you need to... Man holding a coin. Some of you need to watch your spending. You get this every time, Scorpio. Who's still overspending, y'all? You need to watch your spending here. There's some type of hidden uh, financial problem here that could be coming up here. Could have to do with the health energy. Let's see. Goddess of the Moon, number 52. Let's see. What is this about? One more page. There we go. Let's read this one and see what it says. Intuition, going within, okay? This card shows an eternal spirit holding the bright reflective moon and standing in front of the crystal clear waters of a sparkling waterfall. Her arms are stretched. Hold on, let me turn the page. Ooh, this is a lot of reading. Ooh, Lord. Upward, receiving the light of the moon, the light of inspiration. This card is also about intuition, the ability to receive insights from your soul's point of view. Receiving the card upright tells you that you have the power to get intuitive information on all types of issues, and now is the time to use it. The goddess of the moon brings you all sorts of information from the mundane to the spectacular. For, for instance, you could get the urge to take a different route home from work and find out later that you, uh, you've you avoided a three-hour traffic jam. Or you might have an idea for a great invention, a stock investment, or a spellbinding novel. This card could also indicate a significant blossoming of uh, psychic ability and mediumship, even on a professional level. You are always blessed with this ability to connect, but this card is telling you that now is the perfect time to open up. Get ready for the amazing inspiration this brings. Okay, so again, that goes back to like wondering why something didn't happen or why something didn't turn out in your favor. It's, it's meant to happen that way. And just trust your intuition that there's something better for you. Because nine times out of 10, when we get rejected by a person, a job, a situation or something like that, it's because your value was higher than what that person or job could offer. You might not be able to see it at that time, but when you walk away and you take that rejection, you know, take it to the chin. Okay, I'm going to take it. <laughs> you know, that's cool. They said no. They reject me. All right, cool, cool, cool. But then you turn around and you go to your next phase in life or your next cycle in life, and you start to realize, now I understand why I got rejected from that job because that job was going to let me go in a couple of months anyway, or I would have been still sitting at that job and never had gotten the raise that I deserved, right? Or I would have gotten that relationship with that person. That person would have dogged me the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? Or I would have gotten that friendship with that, that person. That person would have talked about me behind my back and spread my business all out in the streets. Like, it could be a situation like that. You're actually being protected. It says, affirmation. I have a strong, intuitive voice. I freely receive guidance and I understand and trust the messages I receive. Okay? So, again, look at it like this, y'all. Here it is right here. Look at it like this. If something did not happen, it happened for a reason. Okay? Number 13. Let's see what this is about. This financial constraints energy. Restrictions concerning money. 
This card shows an old-fashioned safe with little money but lots of cobwebs and dust. Money may be tight at this time. Let me turn the page. Hold on. So rein in your spending and be circum circumspect about the financial requirements in your life. This is not a time of indulgence, so be aware of what's really important and consciously choose your expenditures. There's a big difference between what you need and what you want. This card is telling you to take care of your needs and bide your time. Things will get better, but for now, be willing to live more conservatively and always value the money and the good things you already have. So again, some of you could be, you know, having financial problems, okay? You really needed that job and you were like, damn, I really needed that job. Like I'm having financial issues and stuff like that. Just know that something better is coming in for you. And I know it's hard to believe that at the time because you're like, I just take any job, any old job right now. But it's, it's divine intervention that's happening here. Also, for the ones of you that feel left out in the cold, because this is like that five of pentacles energy. You feel left out in the cold from a person or, or something like that. Just know that even if you would have got in that relationship or got in that connection, you would have still felt this way. You still would have felt lack. And it could have gotten worse. You know what I'm saying? Affirmation. I can move through any cycle with dignity and awareness. I am open to receiving increasing wealth. Money moves to and through my life, bringing benefits to all. It's like spirit is testing you, wanting to make sure you want something better. Like there is something way better coming in. Let me clarify this uh, financial constraint card real quick for you Scorpios. Clarify this. Uh, well, clarify this financial constraint card for my Scorpios. Should have brought another deck of cards. In here. Clarify the financial constraint card for my Scorpios. Stand your ground. Clarify this financial constraint for Scorpios and spiritual union. Yeah, there's something being divinely guided for you, Scorpio. The sun is going to bring so much abundance and so much, ha so much happiness in your life here. The accelerated motion. And it's going to come in quick. So, yeah, you might have got rejected from that job or that relationship. But something else is coming in fast that is meant to come towards you here. And you may not see it now, but you're being protected Okay, that's why this Seven of Wands energy is there with this Two of Cups energy. Again, Twin Flame energy. This is that Twin Flame energy. If you're not looking for a lover, this is that energy of being in connection with your higher self, your Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine energy. Okay, being in balance. So this is just letting you know that everything you've ever wished for is coming in. That's the reason why you're going through like this trial or this change. Okay, this situation where you're having to feel this lack energy. Oh my goodness. Yes, the Star and the Crown Chakra energy. Whatever you're hoping, wishing, and praying for is coming. That could have been the reason why you got rejected. For example, like if you're trying to if you're trying to have your happily ever after with a person, right? You want your happily ever after. You want that person that's gonna build with you, grow with you, create that happy life, happy wife, happy husband, happy spouse, whatever. Right? Say you want that energy. If you were stuck in a relationship with somebody that was half assing you. Somebody that couldn't give to you, that was dragging you around, wasting your time. That person that's meant for you wouldn't be able to come in because you'll be so distracted by the person that's, that's breadcrumbing you, right? So that could be the reason why you were rejected. You know what I'm saying? You got to look at it from a higher consciousness. For others of you, say you got that job or you took that job and they weren't willing to pay you what you, what you deserved, okay? Your value that you deserve. They weren't willing to pay that to you. But you got the job because you knew you needed the money. You was like, dang, I just need the money. I just need to be making something. But it, say you got this job and then this other job comes in. They need you to come in an interview. But you can't take off at this job because you you can't you can't go to the interview because you can't take off at this job that you just got. So you're going to miss out on this job that's meant for you. You see what I'm saying? So just know that everything happens for a reason, Scorpio. And I know it sucks when you stuck in this lack energy, when you don't have what you want or what you're needing. But with this strategy card... Things are being strategized that are meant for you. Okay, there's a map. You're on the course to where you're supposed to be. All right, spirit is guiding you there. You're on the course, but every time you're on a course of something, there's always going to be things to try to throw you off, right? But the thing is, you got spirit helping you, and spirit is like, no, Scorpio, no, we're not gonna let that get in your way. We're not gonna let that get in your way because you deserve this. So they're guiding you to where you need to be, exactly to where you need to be. Something that's going to be stable, something that's going to bring you stability, whether it's money, wealth, finances, love, long-term connection, okay? Whatever it is, the garden and the gate is open. It's right. Look, blossoming abundance. I'm telling you, you got all the good energy coming in for you, Scorpio. Not only do you got the sun, but you got the star with the crown chakra. Whatever you've been asking and manifesting is coming. You could have been saying 
Spirit, I want a real stable relationship. And Spirit's like, okay. And then you meet this person. You're like, oh, my God, they sexy. You know, I let me just go have some fun. Spirit's like, no, 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 no. Reject her. And then, or reject him. And then you go to that person and you get rejected. You see what I'm saying? Because <laughs> Spirit is trying to get you ready for your person. Or Spirit is trying to get you ready for that career or that path, whatever you're supposed to be on. You see what I'm saying? So that's all I have for you, Scorpio. I hope this gives you some clarity and some insight. I appreciate you all so much for watching. Catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.